Hello everybody and welcome back to the DCAC channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a cooking uh, video and it is about uh, the recent episode from uh, Binging with Babish where he makes uh, quite some interesting stuff with chickpeas and since I already have a can of chickpeas from I don't know from quite some time now I was like okay let's uh, let's do something about it because I got inspired about this uh, how is it called lava faba or something like that and basically the liquid that is being extracted from the chickpeas uh, has kind of like protein like uh, texture or qualities so it could be used for example in my case well at least i'm hoping to make pancakes and we shouldn't be using any eggs in this case so let's give it a try so what i wanted to how I plan to do this is to actually have the, the beans and they do smell okay. So I'm trying to actually extract as much of the liquid as possible and I saw there were like ch chunky chunky things in the liquid beforehand but I don't see them anymore here. So I'm assuming everything went inside the this thingy here on the bottom. So I could definitely just use this as is. Um, not sure, it does feel texture wise, it does feel just like any liquid would feel. So I'm not sure, but if you've seen, oh yeah, there, there, there are those chunky, chunky thingies there. Um, so maybe I, I got all of them here now, we'll see. Um, What we could do is basically have this on the side, have this go over this, maybe put some pull some of those chunks with it. Anyway, I think this would be it. So let's let's try it with this liquid. If it doesn't work, we can always add some banana. Uh, but I'm really trying to do this only with the with the chickpeas for starters. So what else do we need? Um, we need some salt. We need some brown sugar or any sugar or no sugar, however you like it. I, I find that some sugar kind of changes the, fact, uh, the taste just a bit, and also it would add. Uh, it would make caramelization happen a bit more uh, so you get some browning or dark spots on the resulting pancakes at the end so I find it good just a bit of sugar don't overdo it so when this is done let's have I'm thinking some sourdough starter. I would not make pancakes without some sourdough starter, if possible. Uh, just because it tastes great. <laughs> you don't really need it, but it tastes better with it somehow. So I have some sourdough starter here. We'll just scoop some of it. Uh, like that, I guess. Mm, didn't work. This time it's a bit more runny. So just pour some of it. Something like that. And then we can give this a bit of a beating. And it definitely starts creaming a bit, which is what we want in, in effect. So, it definitely started creaming, uh, we'll see how that affects the final result. Now, uh, what I usually do is I put some, some flour oil and why I do this is because it makes it easier to cook with less oil. Like pancakes really shouldn't need a lot of oil, so if you put some into the mix, you can usually 
bake them afterwards with any without any oil whatsoever even on uh, something like like this which is not uh, any teflon pan or something like that which is pretty cool so we have that um, usually you would put some milk or usually i put some uh, rice or coconut milk in this case i have some normal milk so I'll just use that uh, but you could definitely do better if you want full vegan so something like this uh, proportions you basically have to judge by yourself uh, if you know how to make pancakes already in my case I just put the two eggs and then I fill up until three to four hundred milliliters on the scale here uh, I guess this would be it well I guess half a liter <laughs> something so, you, you have to kind of judge it by yourself it depends a lot on I think there are many factors that influence that for example the flour texture, mine, mine is uh, gluten-free, so it definitely acts differently. So experiment and find your best spot. Uh, yeah, this is foaming so much, man. Amazing. So, I'm gonna quickly start the stove. And let's start adding some, yeah, some flour. And as you can see, this recipe doesn't take much time whatsoever. I mean, normal pancakes, I guess. It takes like five minutes to prep the pancakes and then, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes to bake. And in 20 minutes, you already have delicious pancakes to eat, which is amazing. And let's see what kind of texture we end up having here. I'm curious. So just speed up this process and see after this is kind of this has achieved the desired texture. I feel like this is even even too much <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, it's getting stickier. Uh, let's put some more milk, just a tiny bit though. So yeah, you already have. Literally, <laughs> it's almost like dough consistency. It's actually, I gotta say, it, it, it gets way thicker than I was expecting. I'm, I was planning on doing um, European style crepes, basically what is uh, thin and big pancakes. Uh, but with this texture, I might end up doing American style ones that are like basically smaller in, in diameter, but uh, thicker. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, it, it kind of looks like this would be the case because it's the dough end up really thick and I'm wondering what exactly caused that. No, no problem with it, I just wanna understand it, you know? So, can we start? I think we can. Let's give it a go. Start with something more like a American pancake, just because they're a bit easier to handle. And let's see what our result will be. So this is pancakes, traditional pancake recipe using flava, uh, flava, 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 I think it was. Juice from chickpeas. Take one, try one or test one, <laughs> let's see how it goes. So give it, I don't know, like some time you can actually start seeing how the corners are starting to change, not there, but kind of like here starting to change color, I guess. Or maybe that's the lighting, lighting? No, no, they do start. They kind of dry a bit. Okay, here maybe you can see the darkening on the, the edges. That is a sign that we have reached the point where the edges are starting to dry and this is how you want it. Um, I haven't done American pancakes for quite some time so I'm not sure if, if I start turning it, if it will actually turn the way I want it. <laughs> oh wow, it is a lot 
more gooey than I, I imagined. So yeah, these will definitely be American style pancakes. They're just like gooey, you know, like spongy. And I'm assuming, yeah, this will definitely work with this approach. Um, or for this style of pancake. Yeah, super easy to, to manipulate. As you can see, it's like, it's basically a sponge now. <laughs> super easy pancakes, oh my God. So I'll, I will finish the first one and then I'll pause uh, or maybe just speed up the footage and uh, see you the end result, uh, show you guys the end result. But yeah, doesn't take much. And as, with time, the pan will actually heat up even more. And at some point you wouldn't, uh, you would be waiting like, I don't know, half of the time we have been waiting for this one or for the first one, I guess. Yeah, you, you can basically pick how much browning you like. I feel like for the very first one, I'll just leave it just a bit more, but otherwise this would have been the time where I just put another one and another one. And you, def you don't really even need to make all of them. I guess you can make like, I don't know, five, six of them, I guess, because this kind of looks like five or six would be plenty. <laughs> and then the rest you can make in the afternoon or something like that. So yeah. Just, whoa, sorry. Just have it like that. Or like that, I guess. Uh, you can see the other side there. It definitely also looks okay. And yeah, let's uh, speed up the footage. See you guys with the end result. All right, so uh, one quick remark. I was thinking about it. It's definitely not called Flava Faba, Flava Faba. It's called actually Aqua Faba. Uh, makes sense, right? Faba, I, thi I think, is the name of the beans, Faba beans. And Aqua is basically their water. So good to, good to know, I guess. Um, I know it sounds, sounds weird. I like feta cheese with my pancakes. Don't add me. Uh, but you can dress them however you like, right? And I put some homemade jam as well. And yeah, I gotta tell you, like while cooking, I actually tried a couple times and texture wise, they're just like gooey and kind of like uh, crispy on the side. And oof, this one kind of broke apart on me. And they tasted just like normal pancakes, to be honest with you. Hmm. Amazing. I wouldn't tell if somebody, because there is always some variance to pancakes, right? You can you don't have only one type of flavor for for, for pancakes. Um, if no, somebody basically didn't tell me that they used uh, faba beans water instead of eggs, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Like, okay, maybe the texture would have been different. And I can see here, I could have cooked them a bit longer. But, mmm, just tastes amazing. So yeah, those are homemade pancakes. Pretty easy, it took me like, I think under 10 minutes uh, from the first time, from the first pancake that I put on the pan until the last one. And another five minutes for mixing. So like in under 15 minutes, you can have a full pancake breakfast made out of fava, fava bean water instead of eggs. That is pretty amazing. So I guess that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it entertaining and useful. And if you have any other tips uh, to use this water with or anything kind of weird like that, just post it in the comments. And yeah, if you're not new to the channel, I occasionally do some food stuff. Uh, mostly the channel is uh, revolves around tech, technology, programming, virtual reality, but like I said, some, some cooking stuff as well. Uh, if you like that, 
consider subscribing, liking this video and yeah, see you guys next time. Bye bye.